So I've just marked this line to cut. And the funny thing is, I only have these 30 year old tin snips. And I thought to myself, well, anything I'm going to get into that. And sure enough, they don't. They just chew it because it's too thin. Because I knew I was doing this job yesterday, it would cut through that. It won't cut through that. Because uh, I was doing this job, I, yesterday I ordered some new thin snips. Mm, kid you not, just as I started cutting this and chewing it and thinking, right, grinder, the package turned up. The package turned up. If they didn't send me the seat. They were advertising a sale. There's the receipt. Clippers. They are proper, proper jobbies. The trouble is, they're heavy. Can go into competition with Don Chen. These are quite cheap, these ones. Bear in mind about that last pair, the six. Since I, my apprenticeship was about 18 when I bought them, 17 or 18. So, these ones are an actual fact. I don't know if they were actually... These are blue point as well. I don't know if that shows up. So these came off the snap-on van, like I say, 17, 18 years old. Okay, put them for months. These, I reckon I've just got 50% off. So they should have been like, 20 quid, and they weren't. They were about 15, uh, 10. Definitely Christmas, isn't it? The late Christmas, bought myself a Christmas present. So, they are left cut, right cut. Sounds like a boxing match. Straight cut. I'm going to open a straight cut now. I could use the big, big, mighty ones over there. I need a more precise cut. I think uh, I'm going to change over the years, but hey, not not much, not much really, not much. I do hate the crappy soft touch plastic because that just disintegrates did I waste my money I did not waste however that cut was a bit 
fine. But no matter. Right. These actually feel very uh, sturdy. That'd be my phone. Cut